<laughs> so, uh, Deuce Staley uh, was hired as the running backs coach. We kind of talked about it a tiny bit. Um, you know, that he was the favorite, that we had interviewed him. He was our only interview for the position. And it came down to us and the Jets for the job. Um, and ultimately, he chose that he wanted to be a Cleveland Brown. Um, mm -hmm. Derek, Deuce Staley. Um, number one, what do you think of uh, of the guy himself, the coach he is, like uh, from a personality standpoint? But also, what do you think he's going to bring to this team? Yeah, and to this running backs room in particular. Yeah, so I like him a lot. I think it's a it's a fantastic hire. I think it's the only hire you could have made, which, you know, only guy we interviewed. So makes sense. But I think he as a personality, I think he brings a lot to the coaching staff as far as like I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. Like coaches have their roles. Like you need your guys who are outspoken. You need your guys who are the teachers. You need the guys, you know, for multiple different things. And I think, you know, he's a part of this puzzle as far as the coaching staff and who does what. But um, as a coach himself, listen, I think his track record is really good, right? You look at what the lines have had at running back and Jamal Williams was a guy who people kind of wrote off and he came in, had a really good year. Uh, DeAndre Swift was always really good as a Detroit Lion. Um, you know, and then this past year, Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, the best, probably best running back duo in the league this past season. So, listen, I, I think it's a fantastic hire. I think he's one of the best running backs coach coaches in the league. I hate that we fired Stump. I really do. I would rather have Stump. Um, you know, but maybe from a coaching side of things, maybe it is the right move because... Listen, the Browns are in a unique position where you need to get the most out of your running backs, uh, plural, because you don't know what Nick Chubb's going to be coming off this injury. And Jerome Ford, as good of moments as he had last year, he certainly has a lot of room to improve. So I think getting a guy with a track record of, you know, making veterans kind of rejuvenate their career. I mean, Jamal Williams has gone to the Saints and, you know, what has he done? Um you know, and then obviously DeAndre Swift and uh, Jameer Gibbs comes in and plays great year one. So, you know, I think a guy like that can help out Jerome Ford a lot. I think a guy like the like uh, Deuce can come in and help probably another rookie running back a lot, right? And even Nick, you know, getting Nick back and what he can give you and kind of the different aspects of how he's probably going to have to change his game up a little bit. Um, listen, I think it makes a lot of sense. So I love the hire personally. It'll be interesting. Um, but just overall, as far as a skill position, I think it's a great hire. I think it's a great hire, but you know, interesting situation at running back, Tristan, what, what are you, uh, what are you thinking there? Yeah. So, it's interesting. Um, I think at the end of the day, um, the reason why the moves we made happened was because we kind of hit, we kind of talked about this a little bit. Our offense isn't modernized enough. Um, it's, it's, you know, we don't do a lot of the things that a modern West Coast offense is able to do. Um, we're not able to do it effectively either. And it felt like Earlier in the year, Kevin was trying to kind of do that stuff. You saw a lot of the end arounds, uh, for example, that particularly. Um, you know, you saw a lot of, of other stuff, and he really kind of just stopped it. Like, uh, a lot of plays out of the gun, um, runs from the gun, uh, RPOs, and it, it didn't look like he was comfortable calling it down the stretch because we just weren't really great at executing it um and i think ultimately what happened was we played to at, at the end of, uh, in the later part of the year we played to what we could do mm -hmm. um and then you know we ran into a team that adjusted to what we were doing offensively and completely just took advantage of it mm -hmm. um i think that this this hire in particular really intrigues me because what type of role is Deuce Staley going to have? 
in my opinion, I think where we will get a lot of input from him about, I think that the playbook is going to be completely different next year. I think there's going to be a lot of, you know, Tommy Reese putting an input for plays that work best for tight ends because we have a great tight end named David Njoku. Um, you know, we've got uh, uh, Deuce Staley now who is going to have a lot of input about how we should be running out of the gun, what our RPOs should be looking like. Um, you know, I, I expect him to have a lot of input when it comes to running out of the gun and uh, RPOs. I, I expect a lot from him with that in particular. And we will transition into our next hire, who I believe will be very influential in what we do down the field. Mm -hmm. um, you know, deep passing, mid routes, stuff like that. Like, I, I really expect a lot from that hire, but we'll get into that later. But I guess in, in a way, you know, how do I feel about this hire? I'm kind of wait and see, but based off of what we know about the guy, um, I think there's a lot to be excited about. I think that this is a guy that could help coach up. Uh, like I see Jerome Ford and I see potential, man. Like that's a guy who got recruited to play at Bama, couldn't get on the field, went to Cincinnati, tore it up and just didn't really go high in the draft. Um, there's a lot of talent there with Jerome Ford. And, you know, you said it. He he isn't really the best with vision. Um, he, he needs to improve with that for sure. Um, for me, where I see the value in Jerome Ford is, you know, I think he's a good receiver out of the backfield. But mm -hmm. I think that he is a when, – when he gets going upfield, that's where I think he is most dangerous. And – I think if we can put him in situations where he's running upfield, um, I, I think that would work for him, you know, like running up upfield more. I, I think yeah. it would. Um, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, it, it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting run game this next year. And this hire makes me excited about it. So um, any last comments on Deuce Staley before we move on to the next topic? No, other than I'm intrigued how this affects the draft at running mm -hmm. back. I mean, I'm intrigued the type of guy that he's going to want to yeah. bring in. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Well, not only that, but is it going to be a drafted guy or is it going to be a free agent? Like, that's that's yeah. another thing. Like, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting for sure.